Hey there, I wanna show you how you can program your keyboard to open a program on your computer with the press of a button. We're gonna use a macro to do this. That is simply a shortcut operation saved in a special spot called a macro. It's not that complicated to do, but if you've never done it before, it might be intimidating. Now I'm using the Keychron Q5, which is my personal keyboard and my favorite right now. It's got a knob that I've done some videos on. It's indicated in the uh, uh, diagram on the VIA right up here, this mute button that I've got it programmed. That's when you actually press the, the knob down like a button. And then this is when you turn it clockwise and counterclockwise. You can program all those different things and you can actually do it on another layer. So if we go to layer three, when I press and hold the function key on my keyboard, then I'm in this third layer. So this is what I'm going to program today. The layer three knob press. I'm gonna have that open, I don't know, let's pick Firefox. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and what we need to do first is actually search for Firefox because we need to open the file location and then we're gonna right click that program and select properties. And from here, I'm gonna get rid of that file location. From here, we have a shortcut key option. So if we click in this little thing and then we just hold down some button combination, it's, it needs to be like control alt or control shift or alt shift or control alt shift is what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna go uh, Control, Shift, Alt, and then the F key. Now, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna apply it rather, and then uh, click OK for administrator uh, permissions, and then click OK. Now let's test that. I'm on my keyboard going to press the button combination, Control, Shift, Alt, F, and as you can see, voila, it's popping open Firefox. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, let's close this down. Now, how do we make the knob do that? How do we program just a keystroke instead of doing that keyboard shortcut? Keyboard shortcuts are great. I'm gonna use them as well a bunch. But if we wanna just do it real simply, let's go down to macros in VIA. And then I haven't used anything over here, no recorded macros. It will let you type the macro manually. And there are some basic key codes that we can look up. Uh, like a so. However, if you want to just do it kind of easy mode, which I prefer easy mode, you have to go into full screen to record keystrokes. If you'll notice that's grayed out for whatever reason, uh, you have to go to full screen and you have to click record keystrokes. And now I'm going to go control shift, alt F and then release. So this indicates that I'm pressing these keys down at the same time. And then I'm releasing them at the same time. We're going to stop recording. Then we're going to save changes. And now we have that recorded in M4, the macro four slot. Okay, let's go back to our key map. And now let's click this right here. And as you can see, I've already done this once previously with M3, but let's click it again so it's flashing. Let's go to macros on our sidebar. And now let's select M4. Okay, I'm gonna click in this space so it stops flashing. Then I'm going to escape out of full screen. And now we should be able to, with the press of our knob, drum roll. Oh, and I did a classic mistake. I pressed it, not clicking or not pressing the function key because as, as you recall, we did this, we recorded it on layer three instead of layer two. Layer two, this is still just the mute key or the mute button for me. So now I'm gonna click function and the knob button and that should pop open, ba 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 Firefox. I hope that's helpful for you. You can do any type of macro here and attach it to any key. We did it to the knob up here. We did it on layer three. You can do it on the regular default layer. And remember, if you're wondering, layers one and zero, this is the Mac layers. So if you're on a Mac, you default to layer zero. And then this is your alternate layer if you hold down the function key on a Mac. Hope that's helpful. Have a great one. Goodbye. Goodbye.